I'm going to teach you how to get a huge sound out of your guitar from this to this. Let's get going. Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Dadgad, Irish backing, and other guitar related stuff, start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. On the Irish music festival scene in the States, this guitar hack is used all the time. And when I started over there about seven years ago, I saw these guitar players using it and getting a huge sound out of the guitar. So it took me a while to figure it out. Since then, I was asked all the time how I got my sound. So I thought I might as well teach you here. And I'll give you a bit of a crucial gig tip at the end of this video as well that saved me a few times so what's happening is i have two channels coming out of this guitar i have the main line or the main pickup coming from the bridge out at the back here and i also have this extra pickup put in horizontally just under the bottom well, I'm in dadgad, so the bottom D string, and it also kind of covers the A string as well. So that's coming out as a separate channel. This is the Fishman Neo D pickup that I'm using for the bass here, and it's a humbucker. And I also have another guitar that has the Rare Earth, the Fishman Rare Earth pickup, which is a little better. So I had a luthier put in the extra pickup here and have it come out the back here. If you don't want to drill a hole in your guitar, you can have it just come out the front, which might save you. I even went to the trouble of putting a third one in as well. But that's for another story. I mean, Dad Gad, so it picks up the low D here perfectly. It also picks up a little bit of the A, but as a hack, if you want, I've tried putting it sideways, running it, the pickup just slightly sideways to pick up that low A as well. So that's something you could try. There's a few other options as well. I've seen some guitar players use an M1 pickup. Might be a bit of a pricey option for you, but what they've done is they've screwed out the four bottom pickups and they're just using the one under the E string and the A string to get that really crisp sound. There's also a Kickstarter project which is called the Submarine Pickup. I bought one and it just kept falling off my guitar, but it did, and it was a bit clunky, but it did have a nice sound, it did have a nice sound, so you can check that out. Everything I mentioned in this video, I'll have links to in the description, so you can check all of that out. So the bass signal goes into the Boss OC3 Super Octave. You put the mode to the poly function, you put the range to three o'clock, the octave level to three o'clock, and the direct level to zero. Another option, instead of the Boss OC3, you could use the Pog Nano, which I've heard and it sounds great. With the octave pedal turned off, you can still hear the guitar, so we don't want that. So what we have to put in the signal chain then is a mute switch after it. What I'm using is the VHS mute switch. That cuts the signal completely, which is great. So you can leave the octave pedal on all the time then and just use the mute switch as you're on and off. I've also seen people use the Boss Tuner as a mute switch, like the TU3, so you can check that out as well. From the mute switch then, you can send that signal to the front of house or to your amp and treat it like a bass guitar. If you're enjoying things so far, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you're more particular about your sound, here's some other options instead of the mute switch. So here's one option I've been using for a while, which is called the Palmer Bass Pocket Amp. As you can see, it's been through the wars, but it's got a mute switch there. You can take out the highs, add in some drive, bass, volume. It's got a lot of options. It's a DI box, ground lift, the whole shebang. Before the bass pocket amp, I was using this LR Bags Para Acoustic DI, which was great as well. You could also do the same, cut out the treble and pump the bass. The trouble with the Para DI in this setup is that it doesn't have a mute switch, so you also have to have a mute switch in the chain at some point, either before or after the Para DI. If you have a bit more money to spend and you want to get the best sound out of it, check out the LR Bags Venue, one of the best things I've ever bought. But this might be a bit overkill for the bass, so check out the LR Bags Session Acoustic DI. I'd love to hear what type of octave pedals or DI boxes that you use, so do leave it in the comments, I'd love to check out new gear. When I'm playing my solo shows live, I run everything through my Asus acoustic amp, which has three channels, which is ideal for this, so I have vocals, guitar, and then the bass channel. So as an extra gigging tip, I have had disasters when I'm playing live, and the pickup has been hit and fallen into the sound hole, which you can imagine is a bit of a nightmare. So what I've done with this pickup is add in some extra padding inside here. There is padding that comes with it. I've gotten this material that is usually put under coffee tables with a sticky back here. I've cut it off and I've placed it in here. So now I can get the screwdriver clamped down as much as I want and I won't damage the guitar, which is ideal. So I hope you found that helpful. I get asked about the setup on my guitar all the time and it took me ages to figure this bass pickup out. As I said, all the links are in the description, so do check them out. They're affiliate links which help the channel. You don't get charged anything extra. So if you've liked that guitar trick or hack, you might also like this one here, which is to do with a capo trick. So do check that out. I'll talk to you on the next one. All the best. Mm -hmm.